March 13th, thousands of fight fans will head to Dallas to see two of boxing's finest square off at Cowboy Stadium for the WBO World Welterweight title. What up everybody, I'm Max Rich for Intersect TV and this is True Fan Boxing. Former IBF welterweight champ Joshua Clotty was given the opportunity of a lifetime when the super fight between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fell through. Now, Claudia is set to fight Manny Pacquiao and our own Jay Monty dropped by Kingsway Gym in New York City to see how he's preparing for the fight of his life. Hi, Jay Monty with True Fan Boxing. I'm here in Kingsway Gym in the heart of New York with challenger Joshua Claudia as he trains on one of his last training sessions before he heads to Dallas for one of the biggest fights of his life. I'm ready now. I don't need any training no more. Okay, I'm ready. We're here with Lenny De Jesus, the trainer for Joshua Galati. Trainers know their fight is the best. What is his state of mind right now? Oh, listen, he, uh, the main uh, course on this uh, training camp is that everybody's happy. And that's very important uh, with a fighter that has a lot of pressure on him because we are going against uh, one of the top uh, fighters in the world. Size of the venue, I mean, are you looking forward to it? It's fantastic that I'm fighting in Dallas first time at that stadium. It's going to be a very big crowd. I'm so happy about this whole thing because, you see, it, it doesn't come easy. We're there for the press conference. It's amazing. It, it, it takes your breath away what Jerry Jones did in that stadium. I'm always deaf here when I get to the ring. So it doesn't matter who talk, who shout, who do this. I love the day. I'm a deaf ear guy. Where's his mind right now as far as training goes? He's ready to win. He's ready to get in the ring today. Joshua has a little bit of a size advantage, but so did uh, a couple of Manny's other opponents. Do you put a different strategy in this fight than previous opponent? No, no. Uh, you know, Joshua knows his business in there. My business is to see Manny's mistakes and capitalize on it and keep the corner cool, calm, and collected, because if you have a corner like that, I think we could pull an upset in this fight. I'm very, very sure that I'm the one who can beat him. I can walk to Dallas, because I'm ready. We all know that boxing is full of tradition. One of the most prestigious of these is the historic United States Military Academy Boxing Tournament at West Point. Prestigious? Historic? Boxing? Jay Monty had to be on the scene for this one. Hi, Jay Monty with True Fan Boxing. When you talk about True Fan Boxing, you talk about history. When you talk about history, you have to include the United States Military Academy here at West Point. We're here with one of the winners, 139 pounds, Terrell Anthony. When did you stop boxing? Um, I started boxing in high school as like a senior project, and while I was doing it, I started liking it a lot. Ended up having two fights, winning them both, and then came here and started boxing. So about three and a half years altogether. Now, I understand that you were a champion coming in. How long have you been champ? National champ, uh, just last year. I got runner-up my freshman year. Uh, sophomore year, came back and got national champ. And it was a convincing win, I sh I'm sure? Uh, yes, sir. I actually won it in the semifinals because in the finals, the guy didn't want to fight me. We have a coach, Dr. Ray Barone. How you doing? A great night of boxing. Absolutely. We had some really good bouts tonight, evenly matched. No one got knocked out, no one got hurt, so it's a great night of boxing. So what happens here to the 12 that won tonight? Where do they go now? Well, they're going to continue to train, as will the whole team. That Now the focus of the team is to get those 12 ready. Those 12 ready in March will go to the East Regional Tournament. And the winners of that East and the runners-up go to a national tournament. West Point's won the nat Collegiate National Championship the last two years in a row. So some of those boxers are, are returning. Well, what about the history of Army and boxing? Uh, can you explain, just elaborate a little bit on it? Well, at the turn of the century, it was uh, President uh, Theodore Roosevelt who, of the Rough Riders who used to do a lot of boxing with his men. And then when he became president, he felt like that would be a good way for soldiers to be ready to control their fear in combat. So it was about early 1900s that 
Him with uh, Lieutenant uh, General uh, Leonard Wood actually grew up boxing the West Point and the Army as well. We know for the first time since Vietnam that when cadets graduate from West Point, they're going to war. They're going to Afghanistan, they're going to Iraq, they're going somewhere. And they're going to be in charge of soldiers. And, you know, war is a very fearful situation. And, and every time they step in the ring, they learn more and more how to control their fear. So they bring that warrior ethos, that warrior spirit uh, into the ring, the discipline to train, the discipline to cut weight, uh, the discipline to, to put your will on the other person. So out of these 12 contests, the 12 winners now will go move on to the regionals and then hopefully the nationals to compete for the finest in the country at the intercollegiate level. From West Point, I'm Jay Monte, True Fan Boxing. Be there in the square. Take care. For more on the Pacquiao Clotty fight or any of your boxing needs, check out the Boxing Channel on Intersect TV search engine. There you'll have all the latest news, videos, and tweets from around the internet at your fingertips in a sec. That's it for this edition of True Fan Boxing. For Jay Monte, I'm Max Rich. See you next time.